believe I lost my oh to that bloody stuck up pompous blue blood prick I suppose I better get going Lord Ravich wants me to Ugh. he says I've got to go see the bailiff I suppose I better go thanks for the ale coins on the table Uh, pissing it down. <sighs> you up, mate? You're right. As right as the shite is brown. <sighs> God, my feet are piss wet through as usual. Fucking leather slippers. No, what uh, the fuck? Hey, no bed. What? Wanna watch where you're walking, yeah? Yeah, you watch where you're walking, dickhead. Fuck's sake. Moron. Take shit and die. Oh well, I guess the sun's coming out. Uh, looks like it's gonna be quite a nice day, really. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, spoke too soon. God's sake, my feet are pissed with fruit. Well, it's gone noon, so I hear the bailiff is a grumpy old bastard. And if I'm not there on the dot, well, I've never met this guy before, so bring it on, bailiff. Oh, I'm starving. I'm going to get something to it and come out of here. Oh, maybe a roasted turnip. Oh, parsley soup. Quite nice back at the pub. I have to go there again. Well, I think this is it. Come in, boy. Take your wet shoes. Yes, sir. Poor Jerry, I don't want your wet feet all over my wooden floors. I'm not taking my shoes off. Oh, so that. Uh, hello, Sir Demon of Beckinsale. I sir Lord Ravage, so good to are, see, see you, sir. Close the door and sit yes, at sir. the table. I'll be with you when I'm finished. <clears throat> Weather's be rather. Quiet. I said, be quiet, yeah, boy. Know your place. I think that will do. Come here, boy. I said. Come here, boy. Yes, sir. God be with you. I'm to put myself under the bailiff's command. Ah, so you're the young man Sir Radzig appointed? Yes. Very well. Sir Radzig asked me to test you a little, and as it happens, you've come at the right time. We've a few disputes to settle. It seems some of your former neighbors have been acting quite inappropriately. I was hoping having one of their own on the town watch might help sort things out. I'm not sure. I'm just a boy from a forge. Not anymore, lad. Now you're a part of Sir Radzig's retinue. That brings responsibilities. Have you been to see Captain Bernard? I have. He trained me and then Sir Hans Capon challenged me to a duel. I see. Sir Hans Capon likes to measure his strength against others. But be careful, Henry. Noblemen are quick to anger, and you don't need that kind of trouble. Well, anyway, you're going to assist my town guard. 
Come to the church in the afternoon. Yaroslav the Watchman, Nightingale they call him, will wait for you there. He'll show you around the town and teach you a little about keeping the peace. And you need to stop by the armory to pick up some gear. Yes, Bailiff. And do close the door on your way out, peasants. You're not in the watch guard quite yet. I should form Sir Radlik you've been to visit me. Now go. Fucking wanker. Fuck you. I'm not closing the door. Bollocks to you. Nah. Fuck you. Close it yourself. Well, looks like I'm going to be getting rid of these wet piss through slippers. Finally, thank God. Better be some decent boots. For what ails you? Try them. Fresh bread. Fresh bread. And pour yourself a bit of fresh milk to drink. Mm. Yeah, love you right. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, got a right face Make on you. So will you? Make a choice. You're running a market stall here, a bloody brothel. Okay, now. Rooms for your house. Rakes and hoes for your field. Holes. What else do you need? Holes. Come on up and see. I'll tell you what, pal, there's two bloody witches down there offering it out on the table. Look at me, look at the bloody weather. Well, at least, I suppose, it's a job and a start. I've got to win some money and get some, get some ales somehow. I can't wait to get these slippers off my feet. Are ah, absolutely killing me. <sighs> Hopefully, I'll get a decent sword. Good morning, sir. I'm hoping I get some decent clothing as well, some warm clothing. Those yellow. Yellow tunics are not too bad. Ah, ah he's chucking it down again. But I wouldn't give to be back home. Wrapped up in the arms of the some wench and a pint of cold ale in my hand. Well, I think this is it. Hey there. Hi, I was still to report here for the night watch. Oh yeah. Whatever. Suck them okay, steps, mate. Have you come from the bailiff? Uh-huh. I was told to pick up a kit here. Name? Henry. And? In fealty too? Sir Radzik Kobola. Hmm, yes, I've got you. Well, come on in then. Make yourself at home, Henry. If my memory serves me, you're entitled to a helmet, a gambeson, and a club. That's all? Do you want a kiss and a hug as well? I mean equipment. It's quite enough for patrolling the town. You're there to stop trouble, not start it. All right, pal. Thanks for your help. Fucking grumpy bastard. Everybody in this town's fucking grumpy. Hey up, love. Well, I guess this is my first official day of employment. Gotta have the coin if I'm gonna want them wenches. Toss a coin to your wench. Uh. So, I've got to meet at the church at noon. Well... Oh the hell. It's four o'clock. Might as well have a couple of pints and uh, get an early night. Uh, well, I suppose we're moving on up. Time for a pint. Uh, oh shit, I must have dozed off. Uh, oh. 
What time is it? Ah, no. What time is it, man? Fucking hell, the more well I am. Uh, <laughs> oh, I feel a bit dizzy, I only have what, four. Wow. Oh. I was so about to get back, get me head down. Way home. Oh, you're up for 12. Aren't you signed oh. up for the night watch? You better Bloody be up hell. early. He doesn't Not like lateness. Up early for donkey's years. This job's going to be more than it's bloody worth, I can tell. Oh, I'm bank Marvin. Oh, it's late. Three quarter moons up. Oh. I could do with a bite to eat. Oh, I'm starving. Oh, no, do you know what? Maybe I should just get my head down. Oh, get me head down. Oh, fuck me, what time is it? Oh, oh give me five more minutes. What time is it? Oh, I think I'm gonna puke. Uh, oh, I shouldn't have had the mails last night. Uh, oh, oh, that muesli ain't done me right at all, that. Uh, oh, shit, you know, I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna be late. Uh, uh, go, me head. What time is it, mate? God, I'm going to be late on my first day. Oh. Oh, oh I feel sick. Oh. Oh. oh, too much ale. Oh, come on, shake it off. Shake it off now. Oh, that rain feels good. Oh, God, I'm going to be late on my first day. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. 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 All right, love. I can use, recognize you from last night. <coughs> uh. Uh. Oh. Ah, the bailiff sent me to meet someone at church. What time is it? Eh? Uh, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, mate. Excuse me, I just get past uh, uh, Oh, I feel like shite. Uh, oh no, he's not here. Uh, I don't want to go in them bloody stocks. Oh, God. Uh, oh, sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me, Father. Uh, it's not in here. Uh, forgive me, forgive me. Oh, shiny shite. Oh. oh, no, he's not here. Oh, he's there. He's there. Oh, fucking hell. Here we go. <coughs> uh, hello? Here I am. My name is Henry. We're supposed to go on patrol together? I see you're kitted out. Ready to get going. I'm Nightingale. Aren't you that lad the mill wench brought here on a cart? Teresa. Yes, she rescued me. She turned up with Captain Robot and his knights. All honour to the girl. She has bigger balls than most men. Tell me, how did you pay her back? I give her what for behind the barn. That's not much, is it? You should go and see her when you get a chance. So, how did you end up in the service of the bailiff? I wanted to enter the service of Saradzik, but he sent me here to learn. And learn you will. You're lucky, lad. Saradzik must like you. Most lords would have just sent you on your way. Come with me, Henry. We'll patrol the town and then check on the taverns to make sure they lock up in the evening. I'm ready. Don't forget, I'm supposed to try you out and, with the help of God, teach you something. So I expect you to deal with any misconduct yourself. I'll make sure you don't do anything too stupid. Let's go. 
right behind you. This is our church, St. Matthew's. I know I briefly popped in looking for you. I'm sorry I was late. I... There was a cat stuck in a tree and... It serves not only as the house of God, but as the crypt of the lords of Lypa, our masters. I will visit the church when I can. The grave digger lives right round the corner. The priest, too. Our parish priest. Ah, a man shouldn't speak ill about servants of the Lord. Hmm. I wonder. This is our rat house. Pretty big, eh? The bailiff and his hands live there. And our maestro proto notarius, the scribe. That's where I met the and bailiff. And the jailhouse. You don't want to see the inside, not even as a guard. Naturally, we have an execution or two, but he doesn't live in town. That wouldn't be proper, as I'm sure I, you know. Uh, I've never he met the guy. He lives by Gallows Hill, uh, the other side of the creek. Really? Uh, this pillory <coughs> was brand new in autumn, and two people have already been rotting on it. The swordsmith here. Hear you, good people. Will the swordsmith give me any new gear? Well, I'm sorry, I shouldn't ask that. You've already provided me with everything I need. I'm here to what learn. What the hell is going on here now? Go and check it out, Henry. Do my job. Okay. I don't want you here. Is that the new? What's going on here? I'm not big enough for you. Oi, Robin Hood. What are you two screeching about? Stop making such a ruckus. About time you turned up. This filthy beggar thinks. My name is Jane. She's better looking than you, pal. No one cares what your name is. I do. This filthy beggar thinks she can come and stink in front of my shop. I want you to get rid of her. Can't you show her some Christian charity, Armour? What? Have you any idea how much I've given away in alms, even to this witch only yesterday? Is that true? Might be. Might not. Did you get any alms or not? Yes. From the armourer here? I don't know. And even if I did, that was yesterday, and my belly's empty again today. That's true. What would you know about it? Here, Jane. Take this and be on your way. Yes. Yes, thank you. I'll go right away. Right away. God bless you, Henry. And what happens if she comes again tomorrow? You give her more? You're making a mistake. Give them coin once and you'll never see the back of them. If you say so. If I find you harassing this woman again, I will take my bat onto the back of your head. Now move! Shit, I'm moving. The power hasn't gone to my head. I'm actually quite enjoying this. And this is only my first day. Your old neighbours are living here now. It's a bit of a shithole. Even so, you should be thankful to Sir Hanush. If the town burghers got their way, your folk wouldn't be led anywhere near the town. And now our people aren't too happy with him. Some fools are even calling for Sir Hanush to finally hand the fiefdom over to the young lord, Sir Hans Capon. Sir Hans's father, old Sir Yeshke, may God rest his soul, kept it till he was an old man. Then he retired from it, first to Moravia, then to eternity. Sir Hanush is managing the fiefdom until Sir Hans comes of age. They're related by blood somehow, the same great-great-grandfather or some such. The time's coming soon enough when the estates have to be handed over. These affairs often end in conflict. I hope we have nothing like he that here. He looks well shady. Did you see him? Well, he looked at us then. With disgust in his eyes. I can't stand that cape on guy. Floppy fringe, blue fuck blood. <clears throat> hey, old boy. God, it really does rain a lot here in the north. Oh. This square here, it looks much better during the markets. Then it's filled to bursting with folk from all around. Is there no way that the Royal Armourer could get me some boots? Because the Night Watch... These shoes are ripped to pieces and my feet are wet through. I really could do with some some new gear. We've also got the baker's shop here and that mad merchant Wolfram Pruder. 
Bruder has a pretty daughter, but he keeps her on a short so range, what? which the young bucks are none too happy about. So, I heard so. he even keeps the poor lass locked up at oh, home all day. Yeah. She must be bang tidy then. Is that uh, a wench beckon sale? Oh, here. See that filthy beggar? By Christ, I'll show the bastard. What are we going to do? Beat up some beggars? So, um, about that girl. How sort of. How bang tidy is that wench? Who's this guy? Comfortable, are we? Um, please, sir. Who do you take me no for? No begging round are here. You stupid or just insolent? Sling your up, pal. Stupid, then. There's no begging allowed here, so pick up your stinking arse and haul it somewhere else. Yeah, you filthy tramp. Me. Us. Yeah, Everyone. Mate, you pissed me if off. If the you hunter saw you here, he'd take a whip to you. All right, all right, I'm going. I'll put you in the stocks if I have my way, pal. You've been warned twice. Hand and they want the whole arm. Bring yourself a book some like wench next time it helps. Here. Beggars belong at the church. I know. Idiot. There's one alehouse here on the market. We offer a beer. The trader's tavern. Mm -hmm. The other's up by the gate. All we'll right. be going there later. What, for a drink or to work? I presume he silence means it's... Yeah. Okay, I'll shut up. Right, so it's that Let's house down there where Kate the lives. Won't you? Alas, boy, you're ladies and gentlemen, and that brings us to the end of part one. If you'd like me to continue my journey with the Night Watch, and you'd like me to record part two, then do let me know. Thanks for watching. I've been Soggy Slipper Boots on the dirty horse manure ground. I shall possibly see you in another Kingdom Come Deliverance video coming real soon. Here's the forge. The blacksmith has some trouble and he's not working at the moment. <laughs>